this episode, we're going back with our good friend Kenny Covington to Oklahoma. We're we hunting up here with my buddy Kenny Covington. Hey, Oklahoma. Wonderful to be out in nature and get to see this. It's awesome. You know, Oklahoma is fun for us. We get to go up there on the mountain and uh, spend time with a friend of ours, Kenny Covington. I don't, I don't never do that to Reverend. <laughs> No, I'm not opposed to doing it to other folks. Oh, I like I that. I guess I have been knowing Kenny. Like the root of the best year I ever had up here last year. Since I was in the first grade and he was in the second grade. My first ever. Longbow kill. I have been snake bit in Oklahoma getting the deer. It's just, it's fun getting away and getting up on the mountain. And there's some great deer. And we're not going out there once, we're going to go twice to Oklahoma. Woo! We've got to see what happens on this one. Love God, spend time with your family. Be kind, uphold the law. Or a few things you can do. Be like Paul. Oh, we ain't got a little fight to it this morning. Go to work, go to church, keep your word, that's all she wrote. Or a few things you can do to be like God. Come and go. If you want to be like Rev, get in the word when you awake. Listen, keep your faith. Read Jesus right along every step you take. I need to put my clothes on. How are we going, truck or buggy? What's the best way, truck? However you want to go. Yeah, the road's okay. That truck pointed the direction we're going right now. What time is all this time? Time to go? Right now. Let me get my most important gear on. I'll be ready. That's what he said. He shot it with his device. Where y'all going? Hunting. Where y'all going? Hunting. Where? Uh, North, North, North Lake. Lake. I'm getting two different stories from three different people. <laughs> Somebody got to come up with the right story. Okay, I got to find you a place to go hunt. You tell me. Huh? I got a, I got a, just a place for you. You do? You ain't seen no bucks down there all year. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got lights for tonight. So uh, we're going to the bear stand this evening, and I ain't never been there before, so we're looking forward to it. So this is a pretty good buck kind of running around down there, so maybe we'll get a, get a shot at it. We'll see. So uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, and I only have a day and a half to hunt, so. My schedule's a little bit different. You know, I, I only work one day a week, right? And so I, when Saturday comes, I've got to get home because Sunday's a work day. Nobody stole his body. In fact, the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 that uh, after that Sunday morning, Jesus showed himself to the 12. Might be good to uh, put one in one tonight before the rain comes. Here comes my guide. Pray for me. Recreation. Recreation. Kenny's place is, is about four hours from home. And uh, I've been going up there with Kenny. He's had that place probably about 15 years. Me and Coach, and the, we finally got in the blind about 3 30, 4 o'clock, something like that. And we has, uh, he's got some really nice deer up here, no joke. But you know, I've noticed something. He's got, some, he's got some really good deer up here. I'm talking about some dandy. But he won't let me go kill them. I don't know what it is. He tells, he, he says we can kill them, but he tells them to go hide and don't come out around me and go. We can't kill nothing but does. This is the middle of December and he was still in full velvet. I wanted to kill that deer. 
and I never ever got the right shot that I really felt comfortable with. I didn't want to booger him up, so I didn't get the opportunity to kill him, but a, a full velvet deer in December is a real trophy because there's something genetically happened that's why he's still got his velvet, I guess. The Way It Was is brought to you by Hybrid Light, Wise Eye Technology, Conviction Game Calls. Okay, then. We got a beautiful morning this morning. <laughs> It's foggy as it can be. It's raining. And we had a deer that was in all kind of trash. And he was in full velvet. We just couldn't get the shot. Probably a good thing we didn't. Because the camera was brand new and go to it. Didn't know how to get the focus set. And we ain't got no video with this cool ball. Well, it's video, but it ain't clear. All right, the problem with killing a really nice buck early, and you're going to kill one in Kansas, is I kind of become delegated cameraman the rest of the year. Maybe I should get on the payroll to cameraman. It's as fuzzy as his home was. So we came back this morning, the wind ain't exactly what we want. So we want to kill this deer velvet, and these several velvet buck is a unique trophy. We will hunt until we get ready to come back. Okay, you do it. That's how you do it. You hunt until you get ready to come back. Uh -huh. That's how I lunch that. <laughs> it's highly important. <laughs> I've been filming Lynn the last two days here in Oklahoma, and this is my first day to go out. And look what I'm carrying. All right, Lynn's hunting with his longbow out there. And I took my compound. I hadn't used the bow with the training wheels in so long. I, you know, let's brush the dust off and see what we can do. I've had trouble out there with my longbow and I'm really wanting to get a deer on the ground. It doesn't matter if it's a buck or a doe. Kennedy eats some does killed. So, uh, you know, it's gonna be a chip shot. It's no problem. You know, I can't mess with his compound. I don't know what to do. Other than I shot over, and Oklahoma curse is still on me, and I got to break it. Something by myself, self filming. You can see by my release age what I'm shooting. I got my longbow, lens hunting over at a, a place we call the North Lake Shore. And uh, we saw really the first afternoon we were here, Friday afternoon. It was a, a buck in full velvet. This is December the 11th, 12th or something. He's in full velvet, so we don't know whether it's a, a doe with antlers on it or whether it's a deer that's been castrated, but he's in full velvet and he's a neat deer, and that's the deer we're looking for tonight. I think I'm done. You know, we came home and took a little break, made the wives happy, and uh, we decided, you know, it'd be nice if we could go back to Oklahoma. We still hadn't got our deer out there. This is round two in Oklahoma. We didn't kill, so we had to come back. We was expecting our buddy Mr. Parker to show up right about now, but <laughs> Mr. Parker is detained in South Texas. Mm -hmm. He told me he got he done hired a hound. Yeah, yeah. Well, what he is. All right, we've dropped Lynn off up at his first food plot they call the house plot. And uh, we pulled down here about a quarter, half a mile to the next food plot. And we're hunting does, older eight points, a trophy book, so we got the whole gambit open to us this afternoon. 
You know, one of the things that I really enjoy uh, here at home or even up in Oklahoma is uh, is, is out looking, uh, looking down instead of looking up all the time, looking down on the ground. Hunter and I are on our way uh, to our stand and uh, we got a little delayed. We done found an arrowhead. <laughs> because I found an arrowhead, an arrowhead will slow things down. It's neat when you hold that arrowhead in your hand for the first time because you realize you're the first person to touch that since the, one, the hands that made that. The last hands that touched that little arrowhead was the Indian who made it and he was hunting these woods however long ago. When our show is the way it was, that is the way it was right there. The second trip back, uh, we, uh, we, we saw a really nice buck, one that I uh, was wanting to, uh, to shoot, but it, it, for two different times in the afternoons, when he was coming in, we saw him coming in, but he smelled a rat. We had a lot of deer uh, in front of us. Uh, he was coming in from our left to our right, and just before he would get where I could get a shot, um, something triggered him and he took off and it happened twice. And so, um, so we did get it done in Oklahoma this year. I, I have been snake bit in Oklahoma getting a deer. Waiting for that shot. And I'll shoot high again. You know, I'm going hunting in Oklahoma. There's a longbow on the front of this buggy, a longbow on the back of this buggy, a longbow on the back of that buggy. And I'm going out to join uh, Lynn and Sid at Kenny's place. And now we're going hunting on a mountain in Oklahoma. I had to reach all over the target to pull my head, you pull with one hand. Now Hank did a lot of practicing with his bow. I mean, he really did. And so when he got to Oklahoma, he told us that he shot up all his warning shots in Kent. Right, Hank did have to do a little bit of practicing up there he, uh, with his warning shots. So he rang the bell when he hit the feeder. You know, that, that's a pretty good warning if something coming down. You have a perfect, beautiful, illuminate moon because of the reflection from the sun. And when we have no sin in our lives and live to serve God, we're bright like the moon. Is that not awesome? What a, what a moon. It's a beautiful night, man. I'm so grateful to be out here. Thank you for letting me be a little part of the way it was. No, you don't. Thank you. You don't know how much you yeah. meant to us. It's all about Jesus, brother. Yeah. It's all about Jesus. He is worthy of every little effort we can put forth. Oh, boy, and Eddie. So you practiced on that shot today. <laughs> he was a little bit further oh. than that. Uh, <laughs> another 200 yards of that. Oh. Well, we got a nice fire. That was a nice thing. Did anybody kill anything? A couple of hours. Mr. Parker, he done been practicing with his long bow. That's about as good a group as anybody wants to shoot right here. I ain't never shot one that good. You know, Kenny's got a lot of deer out there and a lot of does, and he knows they need to be thinned out. You made a good shot. So we're on a doe hunt. Down. A lot of meat for the freezer, a lot of good meat.
man. That is so exciting. You say, well, what else but a doe? I don't care, man. I killed a deer, a wild deer with a longbow. I see hair and blood. I see hair and blood right here. Now, this was a pretty cool recovery on Hank Parker's doe. He comes back, gets us to go down there and, and uh, make the recovery. We're going to have to trail my deer. It's just a speck here and a speck there. You know? And we get down there, and something else was trying to recover his doe before we got there. Golden Eagle was eating a deer. And when we got down there, we had to run a Golden Eagle off to be off the carcass to be able to drag that deer out. That was pretty cool. You got to hit one so big. I know, that's what I wish. We shot a little there. Look what that eagle did. Well, this was a pretty neat hunt because all four of us was able to be there at the same time. And scheduling that is that just usually doesn't happen this time of the year. Well, this is our last episode of the season. <laughs> you know we got the blood in your face. Yeah, I done yeah. blooded it and cleaned it up. He's uh, oh, it's oh, already oh. been done. I want to thank everybody that's watched our show. We're having fun with this, but we're doing it for a reason. You know, we're doing it to try to lead people to Jesus. So the more people we can reach, the more successful that will be. So thank you wholeheartedly for supporting us. We're gonna have a great year coming up. Stay with us. Here's a little look back at what all we did in 2022. Our goal takes You know, the thing about Oklahoma, what you've noticed in this episode is uh, that we are surrounded by people that we get to do life with, folks who are our friends. Really, some of those friends stick closer to us than family. And uh, you are gonna see, and you saw in this episode, a lot of laughing, a lot of carrying on. Uh, probably what you didn't see is a lot of deep conversation and talks uh, about things that would never make it on this camera. Um, you know, they're, they're, we're from Halton, Louisiana, and maybe something that you're not uh, familiar with, but there, there was a guy that grew up here in Halton um, in, uh, in the 80s, and he graduated from Halton, and uh, he, he went on to play college football, and he was a great football player. In fact, in 1981, uh, he was a rookie of the year for the NFL. He played for the Kansas City Chiefs. His name was Joe Delaney. And uh, Joe, in 1983, uh, was in Monroe at a family reunion and uh, noticed that there were some young boys that were drowning in a pond. Uh, Joe himself couldn't swim, but he jumped in to save them, and Joe drowned, uh, really at the prime of his life, in the middle of a great football career. Uh, but there's a little cemetery uh, down the road here in Halton where Joe's buried. He's got a tombstone there, biggest one in the cemetery. And uh, there's a verse inscribed on his tombstone. It's John 15, 13. Listen to what it says. It says, Greater love has no man than this, than he'll lay down his life for his friends. You know, you have a friend that sticks closer than a brother. You have a friend that'll lay down his life for you. 
Uh, you may not have ever met him before, but his name is Jesus, and he laid down his life for your life. Just like Joe Delaney did for those boys, um, Jesus died on the cross so that you can have life, not just life here, but eternal life in heaven. Have you ever trusted Jesus as your Savior? Uh, we would love to help you with that. In fact, you can go to this website, inthehunt.org, and uh, read through some of those things. There's some scripture on that page. Read through those scriptures, and uh, you, you can talk to somebody, uh, a, a live person, and, and, and text them questions, and they can help you walk through how you can surrender your life to the one who gave his life for you. This wraps up our season, season five of The Way It Was. And I want to thank you for watching and, and stay, sticking with us and uh, looking forward to next season. Thanks again for watching The Way It Was. The Way It Was is brought to you by WTL Ministries. Swacker. Three Rivers Archery. Monster Meal.